Hi, I'm Janice Sullivan from Sullivan J Photography, and every week we chat about something that pertains to macro and landscape photography. Editing, post-processing, behind the scenes, you name it, we will chat about it. You may have seen my unboxing of my Wacom tablet. If you haven't seen it, I'll go ahead and put it down on the links below. But with that, I had said that I would most likely go ahead and make a video on some of the tools that I really love and the reason why I love the tablet better than a mouse or a trackpad like this. So today we're gonna talk and I'm gonna show you some really cool tips and ways to get comfortable with your pen and your tablet. So let's get to it. You'll have some homework, but I feel that if you do not have a tablet, please go buy one now. <laughs> or something that has a pen that can control when you move your pen and you push down hard, it actually makes the pen draw thicker. We will show you that real quick, but it has helped me tremendously when it comes to the post-processing part of my photography. So, glasses on. Let's show you. I, down in here, have I always cover my um, tablet. This cover came with it. And so I just personally just leave my small little, this is how I actually type. I have my pen sets over here and I have my trackpad and if I'm not using, I usually if I'm typing and stuff, I'll do this and I still have my pen. But a lot of people like to put, let's take this baby off. A lot of people like to have their keyboard in the front. And some people like to work like that. I personally don't, so you need to make sure what feels comfortable with you. Because if you're not comfortable, you're not gonna be using it. You need to use this. This is something that's gonna tremendously help you. I can't say it enough. Please, please, please take the time and get a tablet or get something that has a pen function. I like to use my I'm moving, moving this over. I like to use my keyboard to the left. So my pins are over here. I have a system, which, you know, you will figure out yours as you play. But you've got to play, you can't give up, okay? Let's see. Over here are my little buttons that you can see from the screen when I just lightly go over them. You'll see the highlighted areas is where I'm touching with my my actual hand is very sensitive to the hand. And I've set up my tablet functions um, particular to me, so I want you to do that for yourself. The first thing that you really need to do is go to your preferences, and we will do that right now. And what you'll do is you'll go over here to the Wacom tablet area right here, and click on it. And you'll see a bunch of applications that I've worked with, the pins that I have. It kind of tells you the actual tablet and you know, I've got a full battery, which is really cool. Again, these on the bottom are what I have done on my settings. Um, I have changed the bottom to simulate the keyboards that I have, which I'm a Mac user. So I have the bottom as a command. I have the next one underneath um, as the alt and option control. And then the shift is my, my top one right in here. So this is the modifier. If you look at the modifier, it's gonna tell you right here, the top one is the shift. And I've done that easily by just clicking on each of these in the preferences. You figure out what you want each of these tools to be. With the pen, 
I have here a right click because it's super easy and I have a radial menu which is really big I want you to pay attention to radial menu but I'm going to change it now because I wanted to share with you um, in Photoshop to if you do a command Z then it only erases what you just did previously and a lot of times I'll go into my history over here and kind of finagle things if I've really figured that I want to change certain things up in the history but what I would like to do now is actually go ahead and change because there's two little sections here I'll show you there's the bottom and the top and this bottom one down here is my right click so as, as I click on the bottom I get a right click and what I'm going to go ahead and do now because at my top is the radial which again I will explain in a second I'm going to change that and I'm going to go ahead and do a keystroke but as you can see you as I clicked on it let's do this again as you can see you can change it to anything that you want that would be easy for you I'm gonna go ahead and change it to a keystroke and I'm gonna do the option command Z and you can see that it's done that so this way I can erase everything that I've done or actually erase the steps instead of just only my previous steps now I'll go ahead and now I've changed it and say that I'm going to change this or I, I'm messing this up and I'm going crazy and oh boy let's see normally I would just do a command Z right and that's all it's doing but now I've changed it to actually go ahead and I just hit the top now because I've went ahead and did those keystrokes and guess what boom 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 boy how fast is that very easy to do quick and it's gonna save me a lot of time and that's what I want I want more time so I can go photograph okay the next thing that I wanted to really share with you that I feel will really help you is the radial menu click on it it is the second one to the right and this is where you will save so much time at first everything is kind of I know you're like I don't have time to be setting all this and what it does is it saves you time because you're going to tell the radio what to do so you don't have to continually do the shortcut keys um, on your keyboard these are just little quick tools that you can make very easily right here in your preferences so it's super easy to use you'll here's the top this is the main one that you would start with you wouldn't have all this stuff so you would just automatically make a sub menu go ahead and put photo Photoshop in one of your pieces of the pie click on the Photoshop and once it you'll you'll make the Photoshop you'll see it then from there you want to go ahead and make more pieces to your pie and you'll start making the um, easy you want to do curves you click on the curves all that for let's just show you quickly I have a disabled function let's say I want to switch applications because a lot of times I'm going back and forth I just want to quickly switch my application for some reason in Photoshop so I'll go ahead I will make that it's already set I'll push my radio go to Photoshop now I can switch applications if I want to and go back to Lightroom if I need to you can also make sub menus which is really cool uh, you know say I have the opacity over here in my Photoshop so I want to make a sub menu another sub menu within a sub menu let's get really complicated ahead and made a sub menu in the Photoshop and I made it call I called it and I called it opacity then in the opacity I click on the opacity right I made a actual little folder and each of these I've gone ahead and changed my percentages to my opacity 
do the shortcuts that you do all the time you might not remember everything but as you're working then stop and say oh I need to set my tablet oh I need to set my pen now let's talk about the actual pen and using it and what's important to use how to use it because it, the whole reason for it is the pressure when you push and and the way you can actually change things up instead of just having a flat mouse or keypad or stroke this strokes will really help you out if you want to change any of your pressures and your uh, the way the pen flows then you can go to window and you can go to brush and over here to the right you can see that uh, shapes and transfers are automatically done but you can play with these and it will help you um, get used to the pressure of your pen okay so the next thing that I want to share with you is actually learning how to use your pen and the way to do that is almost like if you were in kindergarten <laughs> so we'll go to that right now go over here to the right we're in Lightroom now just go on the internet grab some dots upload it you're not gonna do anything with it this is just for fun you're gonna go to the right pick a color that you like something that's really big and vibrant and and you can really see red is um, my signature color we will go with red I'll change the exposure down so we can see it and then now what we're going to do is we're going to draw so we're going to play and let's show you the very easy hand movements for me you have to it's super if you go fast <laughs> look at I'm already messing up it's easier if you go slow see how it can be jaggedy but it's good to play with just marking these up and going actually the opposite direction too whoa so you can see on my left I I have a tendency to pull to that side uh, I also would like you to practice writing your name a little little slow here for some reason and make X's And I've actually this we can do a delete get rid of all of it and start from the beginning I'm actually doing this for my apprentices so I've just shared with you briefly how to get started and rocking and rolling with your pen um, my apprentices are actually going to get some more goodies and I feel that that would help them tremendously on learning how to develop their skills when you're actually writing and flowing with the pen. If you're interested in being one of my apprentices, send me an email, Janice at Sullivan J Photography, and we can hook you up. Or you can check it out on my website at Sullivan J Photography. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And if you have any great ideas to help people learn how to use their pen and develop their skills, leave it in the comment section below. Hope you have a great day. I'm Janice Sullivan from Sullivan J Photography, helping you get up and close and personal with your camera and your welcome tablet. Cheers. Mm -hmm.